It frosted pretty hard last night, about 21 degrees. I want to go check in the high tunnel. So if you look outside, you can see it's all white and frosty out here. We didn't get any snow, but all this is completely frosted over. In fact, it looks like the pond has a little bit of ice on top of it, our new pond over here. I'll try to take you over there in just a second, show you that. But I want to come in here and look at this. This will be just a really quick video for you to see what's going on in the high tunnel and see if things frosted over. I haven't seen yet, so we're going to see together. Let's go over there. It's got frost on the outside of it. You know, actually, ice can provide a little bit of, a, uh, of insulation. That's why you can be moderately warm inside of igloo. I don't know if that's going to do anything. Ah, oh yeah, it opened. I thought it might have been frozen. All right, first look. It still looks pretty green in here. Don't, things don't look really wilty. It only got down to about 31.6 in here last night. That was a low, and it only got that way for a little while. There are two layers of plastic up above, and there's a layer of uh, air in between. That's what this blower fan over here is for. And it looks like there's a little bit of ice on the outside, too. There's a little bit of ice on the inside. It's gonna start melting soon because the sun's starting to come up. You might be able to see a little bit better over here that the sun's starting to hit it and it's really bright on there. It's chilly in here. My thermometer says it's 32 degrees in here and it's 22 degrees. That's 32 Fahrenheit. Uh, so that's about zero Celsius. Let's look over here. The thing that I would be worried about most would be these beans. I was really hoping they'd produce me a few beans. They haven't yet. Let's get closer and look. If frost has affected them, it hasn't affected them much, but I don't have any beans on there yet. This was an experiment to see if I could get any of these Asian yard longs to produce me a few more seeds for next uh, season, for this spring. And I don't see any, so that's just the way it's gonna be, I guess. Can you see Toby's shadow over there? He's wanting to come in. I'll go let him in. Toby, do you want in, buddy? Okay, come on. Okay, Toby, come here. Sit. Wait. He likes to be where we are, so he was outside and we were inside. Maya's in here with me. But if he has his way, if he runs around everywhere, then he runs over some of my plants, and I don't really like that, so I don't let him just do everything. I weeded these strawberries as well. Do you see? Over here, about this area, is where all the weeds are that I scraped off to the side, and over here is the strawberries. So there's a few weeds in there still, but most of them are gone. Comfrey's still doing really well. Some of it might look a little wilty, but it's okay. Let's uh, check this propagation chamber, and then we'll walk back outside and look at the pond real quick. We put these pipes on top of this in order to make another little hoop house inside so we can start some seeds in here, and there'll be another layer of plastic. What we've read is for every layer of plastic that you put over your plants and stuff, that takes your climate it down another 500 miles. We've got two up above if we put one more in here to start some seeds and we've got these uh, heat mats that we've got on right now then it'll take our growing zone another 500 miles south. So uh, we should be able to start all our seeds and have them in here and keep them all warm all winter. What dear? It's really just here under here. Yeah it just uh, all this does is just heats the roots but that does kind of come up and you see the condensation on the inside of this and I've got another uh, thermometer in here. I'm gonna wait a little while longer before opening this up. I usually open these up every morning, but it's kind of chilly and the sun's going to be up today. So it'll be up at least in the 60s and 70s in here today, even if the high outside is only in the 40s or so. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be, but I'll have this other layer of plastic. I'll come back out a little later and I'll open this up so it don't get all moldy in here. But I want to open it up now to see what the temperature is in there. See? 43. It's a little bit more than 10 degrees higher in there. It's around 32 in here and 43 in there. So that uh, definitely helps. Basically, all I want to do is show you what's happening in the high tunnel. Even though it's 20 degrees outside, if it would have been warm yesterday, it would have stayed probably 15 degrees higher. It was a wet and dreary day. The sun didn't really shine at all. It was always behind the clouds. Uh, so that kept it from getting warm in here. Let's go look outside one more time. Yeah, all this froze over. Look at it, Maya. What do you think? You like the way it looks, all that froze? No. You don't like it? <laughs> So it's got a little layer of ice on it right over here on this side. On the other side, it's already melted off. It probably had some ice over there too, or it could have been moving just a little bit. It's still not all the way full. It's still about uh, going to get about a foot, foot and a half, two feet higher. When we get some good rains this winter, it'll fill up the rest of the way. All right, so that's what's going on in the high tunnel. If you get a high tunnel, then you can definitely extend your growing season. I think it's worth it. You don't have to get one like this. If you are interested in something like this, we got this paid for almost completely. Uh, NRCS grant, an equip grant. So you can check with the USDA locally 
length. Ours is 150 by 30. And if you do it through the NRCS, you don't even have to get one this large. We just got the largest that we possibly could. The dogs must have heard us talking and they came up here to check see what's going on. These Pyrenees run free. That's Molly and Sloan. If you like things like this, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Select all so you never miss a notification. Uh, we really appreciate all that you do. We do a new video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday and a live stream on Sunday nights on YouTube uh, at 8 p.m. Central Time where we just get in front of the camera and chat with you and tell you what's going on. Uh, I'm going to get back inside. My hands are cold. It's chilly out here. Get right next to a nice warm fire. Thanks. Thanks.